Hi guys and welcome back to Hermit Sounds and Horses. In today's video I'm going to show you how to make a DIY hermit crab pool. Please keep in mind that I already made these pools and I didn't want to completely remake them so I don't walk you through all the steps but I will try my best to show how I made them. So the first thing you will need is two plastic containers. The reason you need two is because hermit crabs need both fresh and salt water, so I'm making both pools. The size of the containers is important because you want your hermit crabs to be able to fully submerge into the pools. Mine are about 6 inches long and 3.5 and inches deep. These containers cost me about 2 US dollars. Next you will need a sheet of plastic canvas, which costs about $1. Plastic canvas is one of the best things you can use for hermit crabs. Because it's made of plastic, it doesn't mold or deteriorate over time, and hermit crabs can climb it really, really easily. Next, you will need four zip ties. These cost about $2 for a whole bag of them. You get like 50 to 100 of them, but for this project, we only need four. The most expensive thing that we'll need for this project is an aquarium pump. I already had this one laying around, but I believe it was about $10. This one is electric, you plug it in and it pumps air out. Going with your aquarium pump, you will also need aquarium tubing, which costs about $3. You will also need two aquarium bubblers. All these do is turn the air being produced into bubbles that will come up to the surface. Because I already did this project, my aquarium tubing is already attached to the bubbler, but the bubbler that I'm talking about is the blue part. And then we also have this other piece that will connect all the tubing. I will call it a T connector because it's shaped like a capital T. These again are fairly inexpensive. I believe they came as a kit and they were about three or four dollars. One other thing you might want to add is rocks or pebbles or shells. Some sort of thing to put on the bottom of the pools. However, this is optional. The last thing you will need is a simple pair of scissors because there is a lot of cutting in this project. All of this comes to a grand total of around $22, which may sound expensive, but when you think about it, this is a long-term investment. Hermit crabs live around 30 years, and if you do this pool, it should be a permanent solution. You shouldn't need to buy a bigger size for your crabs, and in my case, I have never, ever had to adjust the humidity in my tank. The pools keep the humidity where it needs to be at all times. So for the purpose of this video, I'm only going to show you making one pool, however obviously you would want to double it and make two. So to start off, you're going to take the plastic canvas and cut it to size for the inside of your container. The plastic canvas will be acting as a ramp for your hermit crabs to climb in and out of the pool, so you want it to be the same length as your container. Next, you want to cut a hole facing to the side of your plastic canvas. For making two pools, put one hole towards the right and one towards the left on your two pieces of plastic canvas. We'll come back to this later. You also want to poke two smaller holes into the top of the plastic canvas. Next, you want to take your container and also poke two holes into it on the sides, one on the left and one on the right, near the top. Then you want to thread your zip ties through the holes that you poked in your plastic container. Also going to thread the zip tie through the holes that you poked into your plastic canvas. You're threading it through the small holes near the top and not the big hole. Then you're going to close the zip ties. Lastly, you'll want to cut whatever remains of the zip ties. So from there, your container is done and next we're going to move on to the aquarium tubing. First, you want to cut a piece of the aquarium tubing that will be big enough to fit in your pool. For example, my pool is three and a half inches deep and I wanted mine to be a little bit longer so I cut it four inches. From there, I'm going to attach my aquarium bubbler to the tubing. Once it's on, it shouldn't be able to come off easily. Then I'm going to take my aquarium tubing that's attached to the bubbler and thread it through the hole that we cut at the beginning of this project. The reason I keep the bubbler underneath the mesh is because if you have it above the mesh, it will make too much of a current and it will deter some crabs from going into the pool. However, if after making these pools, your humidity still isn't where it should be, then I would recommend taking it out from underneath the mesh and seeing if that raises your humidity anymore. Next, I made my second pool and it's almost identical to the first one, except for the placement of the bubbler. From there I took my T attachment and I attached it to both bubblers. This is why you had to put the bubblers on opposite sides so that they could both be facing towards the middle and be able to attach to the T connector. 
Once it is attached, it should look like this. The last thing we have to do before putting it into the Crabitat is to connect the rest of the aquarium tubing to the T connector so that both bubblers filter through the one aquarium tubing. If you choose to add rocks or pebbles at the bottom, now would be a great time to put them in. Once you have put the pools into your Crabitat, you will take the rest of the aquarium tubing and connect it to the pump. I don't show well in this clip, but what I do is I run the aquarium tubing from my pools underground up out of the tank and to the pump. Once you add water and plug it in, your bubbler should start working. Besides boosting humidity, these pools are also great because the bubblers keep the water clean for longer and it creates a natural current for your hermit crabs. That's it for today's video guys, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that I inspired you to do your own DIY pools. If you did enjoy it, make sure you leave it a like and I'll see you next time. Bye!